In this video we are going to talk about 6 ways to survive a German Shepherd attack. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. The German Shepherd is one of the most prevalent dog breeds used by police departments. They're devoted, intelligent, and hardy canines who like pleasing their owners. They have a strong, rough, and imposing appearance and demeanor. GSDS are sometimes perceived as innately violent due to their war service experience, which might make people concerned about their safety around their family. Even if you're unlikely to be attacked by a well-trained German Shepherd, it's still a good idea to arm yourself with information. What do you do if you're on the receiving end of an enraged GSD who's charging at you with clear malice? Instead, keep an eye out for warning signs, act appropriately, and get to safety as quickly as possible. Here's how to do it. Number 6. Use your body weight. Once a dog has you in its mouth, there's no turning back. In the worst case scenario, it will come down to a fight to the death. You should avoid engaging in a ground fight since it exposes you to more danger. Instead, you must neutralize the dog as rapidly as possible. A dog's ribs are easily broken, thus using your whole weight to fall on it and crush it is the most effective method of accomplishing this. Attack the dog's eyes with your free arm, or attack the rear of its head, just below the base of its skull, with your other arm. Depending on where you are in the wilderness and whether or not you have a survival knife with you, the dog's most vulnerable areas are beneath its front leg or right above its shoulder. The use of a coat over the dog's head can also be useful, as can raising the dog's hind legs high in the air, which prevents it from navigating as well as possible. Number 5. Don't flail in fact shielding will help you. Getting thrown to the ground by an angry dog is a painful and distressing experience that many people have. As a result of flailing your arms and legs around, the dog's jaws will be closer to your arms and legs than they otherwise would be. Instead of curling up in a ball to protect yourself from harm, put your arms around your neck and head as tightly as you can to protect your vital organs. The likelihood that a dog may hurt or destroy any vital organs as a result of this activity is reduced as a result of this. It is unlikely that the dog would become bored during the process, however, you should keep a calm and tranquil posture at all times. In the event that you do not have something substantial that will serve as an effective barrier between you and the dog, it is feasible to create one between you and the dog by placing a flat object between the two of you. When you don't have anything else on hand, you can make do with a piece of wood, an old briefcase, or even a huge book if you don't have anything else available to you. However, if a surface is too hard or too flat for German shepherds to cling on, they will finally give up and abandon the attempt. When performing preventative maintenance, make sure the object is in a close proximity to you and not extended out toward the dog, as previously suggested. Assuming that the object is protruding from the ground, it is possible that the dog will be able to fit around or under it and into your vicinity, resulting in injury to you and your family members. However, if you don't have access to a flat object that can serve as a barrier between you and the dog, you can use any other object to steer the dog's jaws toward the desired location. In this circumstance however, while all of these alternatives are viable options, they are not the most practical solutions accessible. It is preferable to what you are suffering right now to have any alternative to the teeth that are grabbing your feet from beneath your feet, and you should really consider it. Number 4. Barriers. Prepare to travel at a more leisurely speed in the shadow of something solid. When walking away with an irate GSD snapping at your heels, it's crucial to understand that while you don't want to walk away gently, you also don't want to run away at full speed. Take it slow as you approach something solid, such as a wall or a small structure. You may also consider using items such as a picnic table or a garbage can to help you stay on track while driving. To put it bluntly, something should be placed between you and the dog to keep you safe. Number 3. Stay quiet and don't run. It is not permissible to scream, hoot, or make any other loud noises during the event. Whining and screaming may draw the attention of passing motorists, but it will just serve to upset the dog even more. Your dog will perceive you as just another diverting toy, and believe us when we say that's the last thing you want to happen. It is critical to fight the urge to flee, no matter how enticing it may appear to be at the time. 
It is usually advisable to get away from a potentially dangerous situation as fast as possible, however, any sudden movement will just excite the dog and encourage it to attack you instead. Prepare for your escape by moving slowly and carefully while maintaining awareness of your surrounds, including the dog, as well as a second awareness of your escape route, as illustrated in the figure. Number 2. Stay calm. You'll have to keep your cool for the third time under pressure this time. When dealing with a hazardous dog, on the other hand, panicking will only make the issue worse in the long term. When dogs sense your emotions and your body's response to stress, they may express their sentiments to you in a playful or affectionate manner. Overall, the more stressed or worried you are, the more anxious your dog becomes. Activities that are leisurely, smooth, and fluid in nature cannot be overstated in terms of the significance of these activities. Number 1. Don't look the dog in the eyes. The act of gazing a dog in the eyes is viewed as an aggressive conduct in the eyes of canines. Another example of subliminal body language to be aware of in order to avoid any misunderstandings is as follows. The fact that you are looking directly into the eyes of an irate German Shepherd may be interpreted as a challenge. The fact that you are not making eye contact with the dog communicates to him that you are not interested in fighting. Slowly move your body to the side, keeping your gaze away from the camera the entire time. The most susceptible regions of your body should not take the brunt of any dog attacks, especially if the dog has any intention of lunging at you. Apart from that, moving your side away from the dog will place the dog's line of sight on your tough outer thigh, leg, and torso, rather than your stomach or groin. Given that the dog is not actively lunging at you at this moment, you should treat the dog with full contempt at this point. If you ignore the dog, it's probable that you'll lose interest since you'll become a boring and non-threatening target, which will make you less interesting. Keep your limbs as near to your torso as possible at all times to avoid harm. German Shepherds have a reputation for shooting high and grabbing limbs when they want to play with you. Your attackers may be deterred from attacking if they notice your arms crossed and unavailable. They may also be forced to restrict the amount of harm they cause to you. Make a calm and careful exit from the area where the dog is located. The reason some dogs get violent is because they are protecting something that is vital to their owner. The location, an object, or even another person in your life could be the subject of this question. It is possible that, by removing yourself from the dog's near vicinity and something they may be defending, the dog will become indifferent and will decide not to chase you anymore. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.